Hi guys, once again this is Job, and in this video I'm going to share once again another important tool for teachers like me. Most of the teachers, professors, or doctors, lawyers, and other professions, students are all familiar with Microsoft Office application, especially the Microsoft Word in writing or preparing their uh, thesis, dissertation, examination papers. Most or 90% of people are familiar with Microsoft Office application. Now in this video, I'm going to share with you another tool that we can use in preparing a more professional looking documents. Especially if you are a teacher or math teacher preparing mathematics questions or questionnaires, this is going to be a very helpful tool that we can consider in writing those kind of documents. All right. Now, the software that I'm talking talking about is the LaTeX. LaTeX. This is pronounced as LaTeX not latex this is uh, x is a greek they get it from the greek word x but it is actually pronounced correctly as as uh, k that's that is why the correct pronunciation pronunciation of this word is latex not latex all right so this software has been has been around for almost a decade, but we, um, I myself is not familiar with this uh, software. But later on, as a product of my research, I found out that this software is very very useful, especially if you are a writer of a book, and especially if you are a mathematics teacher. All right. Now, what is LaTeX in a more formal uh, definition? What is LaTeX? LaTeX is actually a document markup language that is used to create a document that is professionally looking with consistent formatting. And this is also use, especially useful for mathemat mathematics teach teacher, as I mentioned a while ago in preparing mathematical notation, mathematical expression, in preparing mathematical examinations. And this is also this uh, software LaTeX is also a cross platform. This is also a backward uh, compatible and it produces a PDF files that can be read by any devices. What is what does it mean cross platform? That means this LaTeX software, app application software, can be run in Microsoft Windows, Linux operating system, and Macintosh operating system. And this is a backward compatible, which means it can run in an old, older version of an operating system. All right. And actually, this LaTeX it's not only produces a PDF file, the final output by default is a PDF file, but actually it produces the three types of files. The first one is the DVI, me, DVI or the device independent file format. The second one is the PS or the postscript file format. And the third one is the PDF or the portable document format all right now um, latex is also a free open source and highly customizable you can we can freely download it from the internet for free of cost okay that is one advantage of this uh, software so again latex is the correct pronunciation and this is used in preparing a document that is professionally looking 
This is customizable. And this is very useful in mathematics teacher because sometimes if we are if we are using Microsoft Office and there's a lot of symbols in mathematics like radical sign, radical symbol, subscript, superscript, and then integration uh, symbol, derivative symbol, a lot of symbols used in mathematics. It's sometimes very difficult for us to use when we are using Microsoft Office application. All right? So this is the good alternative for teachers. And again, this is not only for mathematics teachers. This is also in writing an article. This, this can also be used by other professions like English teacher, uh, engineering, uh, especially engineering teachers in, in preparing different types of articles. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you first, in this first video, this, because this is going to be a series of videos that I'm going to prepare because I already started this. And this is actually the first video that I'm going to prepare this uh, year 2021. This is the first video, but this is going to be a series because I'm going to prepare some video, video tutorials in mathematics and I'm going to use this software to prepare those uh, documents. Now, in this first video, I'm going to show you Number one, first, how are we going to get and install and, and do the basic setup of this software, okay? And then the second one is I'm going to show you a simple uh, document and we're going to discuss some uh, properties of this software be before we can dive in into its real application. And I, I, I would like to emphasize that if you are new to LaTeX, at least if what we need is we should have a little bit, uh, we should have a, a little bit of background in simple programming because we're going to use a command later on in order to produce a PDF file. It's actually, there is a... a uh, a portion of a window where we can enter the command and this command will automate the result will automate and tra uh, translate it into PDF files so a little background of a, a little technical background especially in programming is needed in in order to a little a little on a little background only in order to produce a professionally looking documents all right so i think let's dive in with the the insta uh, the how we can uh, get from where we can get the software of course we need to go to google now uh, latex latex is a software and we need two pieces of software for this latex to be uh, work properly okay the first one is the we need a a latex distribution that is the first one the second one is the latex uh, editor all right so the first so i'm going to let's going to i'm going to download first the latex uh, distribution which is called the MicTech. And then later on, MicTech is actually a compiler. We need a compiler. LaTeX needs a compiler to compile the command that we entered into to the command line. And that is called the MicTech. The second one is the editor. But first, I'm going to show you uh, download first the compiler, which is called the Big tech. Okay, let's go to the Google. <clears throat> Just type uh, the mic tech. Okay. 
Okay, and the first, the first uh, one, the mictech.org, uh, click that one to redirect us to its website and click this download. Okay, again, get, the mictech is actually a compiler used by the LaTeX to compile the program. Now, I mentioned a while ago that this is a cross-platform, which means it runs in Windows, Macintosh, and Linux operating system. Now, since I'm using Windows, I'm going to download the Windows installer for MicTech for the compiler. So, just click the Windows, and here it, this is the link. So... The compiler is, at the time of the make, making the video, this is actually a built 2021, January 19. This is the latest. And this is the file name, basic MicTech 21.1 version. I'm using 64-bit of my Windows operating system, so this is only for 64-bit. And the file size is 244 MB. So all you have to do is just down, click the download. I'm not going to download because I already download it and I put it in my computer. Just click that one and let it finish and then copy it. Now I'm going to get the other one is the we need the editor. The editor name is TextMaker. TextMaker, this is a free cross-platform latex editor. So just click this one. And then you will be directed, redirected to this website. Just click the download version of 5.0.4. This is the, the latest version for the TextMaker, or TechMaker, I'm sorry, TechMaker. So this is going to be the text editor for the LaTeX. So these two software has to be installed before the LaTeX software will run smoothly in your computer. Okay. Take note that we need to install first the compiler before we will install the editor. And it's not the other way around. Else you will be having a problem later on running the LaTeX. So once again, you have we need to install first the compiler. So since I already put it in the in my drive, okay. So this is my Micne compiler. So I'm gonna install this one. Double click. Okay. Just accept. Next, install MicTech only for my, for me or jobs. You can do this or you can install MicTech for anyone who uses this computer. So since I'm on, I'm the only one using this computer. I'm gonna choose the first option, only job. So this is the correct, this is the correct uh, directory. In Drive C, it will be installed in Drive C. Settings, set your preference. My preference paper is A4. So if your preference is a letter, a little bit smaller than A4, then you can choose letter. But my preference is A4. So I'm going to choose A4. Install missing, missing packages only on the fly. So ask me first. So by default, I'm going to leave it as is. Then start the installation. So this is actually a straightforward installation for the MicTech installer. So while I'm installing this one, uh, when I when I first used this uh, software, the LaTeX, it's really it makes my work more efficient and more uh, professional. 
because uh, once you give the right command in the command line of the LaTeX, it will, after compiling, it will display automatically the desired output it depend, depending upon your, uh, your correct command given to the command line in the, in the uh, LaTeX environment. Now, while installing, this, this LaTeX has two options. You can, you can use LaTeX at, in an offline, uh, offline uh, mode. What I'm doing is, this is an offline uh, LaTeX application. There's a, there is an alternative to use this software. The, the, the other one is the cloud-based or the web-based web uh, LaTeX, which is called the Overleaf. So while installing this one, the offline version, I'm going to show you the, the other option. So I'm gonna go, I'm going to. Again, in Google, just type overleaf.com. This is a web-based or cloud-based text editor for LaTeX. LaTeX, sorry. LaTeX or LaTeX, but not LaTeX. Okay, all you have to do is just register or make an account. I have already an account. And then you will be asked to, since I already started, I entered a new project, this one. All right. It will prompt you to, or it will direct you to these three windows. This is the Overleaf editor, which is web-based or cloud-based editor. On the left leftmost portion of this window, we have the main that text. This is the menu. Okay, and then on the center, this is the source. This is where you will enter the the command, okay? And then on the right, rightmost portion of the window is your PDF output. By default, by default, the, the web-based uh, editor by default has its own, uh, already shown the, the structure, the structure of the lat LaTeX. This is actually the default structure of the LaTeX. It has a document class. I'm going to discuss later on also in the offline uh, editor. This uh, document class actual user package, this is what we call the preamble. This is where you, you add a user package and you will type the first type of class if it is an article. You, this is where you will set the the, the, the size of the bond paper, the size of the the fonts, okay. So this is where you uh, enter those in uh, those details in the preamble portion, and then the title, the author, and then uh, below the date. This is where you where you enter your content, the content. For example, once you type the begin, there must be an end. Begin document and an end document. In between this, this uh, uh, environment, this is where you will type the content of your document. In this case, the section introduction, if you notice, the output after the recompil compilation, all you have to do is just click the comp compiling and then the result will be this one. LaTeX tutorial, because this one is the title, LaTeX tutorial. The author is Jobs Azil, my name. 
and then January 2021. Okay? And then the introduction, this is the content of your document. So these are the basic structure of the online editor. This is basically the same with the offline editor. Okay? So all you have to do, again, is you just register your account and then you're ready to go. Okay? Now going back to the offline, uh, I think it's already finished. Offline installation of the... Let's check. Is it finished? Make tech. I think it's already finished, but oh, it's not showing here. Make tick. Anyway, shall we do it again? Ah, yeah, this one. Yeah, it's still, it's still uh, installing. Sorry, so it's not yet installed. So it takes actually time to finish. So once again, you have to. I'm gonna close that one because it's it's already it's running. There are two options where you can type the command in the editor. The first editor is the web-based or the cloud-based editor, which is called the Overlift. Just go to overlift.com and then you just have to register your name. And the offline editor is this one. You have to download the MicTech as a compiler. And after the installation of this, the offline editor, which is Tech, tech Maker. All right. Now, since the, uh, the reason why it is uh, it takes time for the installation because it's installing the different package available or needed in the execution of the command. So there's a lot of uh, uh, packages that is needed for the complete installation of the LaTeX. All right, so, by the way, if you are a Mac user, the Mac user, the LaTeX uh, distribution is uh, called MacTech, M-A-C-T-E-X, the MacTech, while the offline editor for the Mac is the same, Tech Maker. Okay, so tech maker. So while the installation is ongoing, I'm gonna. All right, I think it's almost finished. I'm gonna hit the next. Check for updates now. No, not yet. Uh, we have to uncheck. We have to update. Okay, close. So after the installation of the compiler, we need to double click the text, the offline text editor, which is called Tech Maker. All right, and then after this, we are good to go. We can start the 
we can start to run the LaTeX program or LaTeX application. Okay. Launch, launch, tech maker when setup exists. I'm going to click finish. All right. So this is the tech maker editor. This is the structure. Uh, we can I and then we have the this is the sorry this is the uh, command command line and this is the structure of the latex so in uh, In uh, offline editor, we can actually set the option, configure the tech maker. We just have to, uh, in the command, these are the options. We just have to leave it, at, leave it as is. And then the quick build, PDF LaTeX plus view PDF, view PDF. Okay, let's check this one. LaTeX DBS. Okay, I think uh, LaTeX MK. And then the editor. This is the editor. You can edit the. By default, the font style is uh, Courier New. You can actually choose any font you you prefer to use. I am going to leave it as is. The editor uh, font size by default is 10. And then the editor font encoding, we just leave, leave it as is. Check for external uh, exchanges. No need to check that one. Okay. For the shortcuts, if you are familiar already, you can use the, this different uh, shortcut. For example, instead of uh, pressing the quick build, you can just memorize and just uh, click the other uh, the, the key F1 from the keyboard. All right, so I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so the structure of the the structure of the command is. You need to type, sorry. Why this is? We need, before we proceed, we need to aware. Please take note that before you start writing any code in the editor, we need to create a new file first. I'm sorry, I forget. New file. new and for example file name is latex tutorial and I'm gonna save it in for example in D So this is the latex tutorial that tech. So the structure is in the offline editor we need to type 
documents and then after, uh, while you are typing the documents it will the LaTeX will give you an option you can just click this one and it will show you the the, the first argument is in between inside the two to the brackets and the other one is the inside the curly brackets now these two argument is actually you can write the size of the font for, uh, the, the, the size of the for example if, if you're going to use a4 but since it's already default a4 we just set here the size of the font for example you want to make it 12 and then in inside the curly brackets we can type the different classes of document like for example article okay there there, there are several uh, classes of documents the first one by default is uh, they are actually using article they, they can also use book uh, beamer for PowerPoint presentation but for the purpose of this video I'm going to use only the article as the class then hit enter now in this in in between this document uh, we can use the uh, different packages but right now I'm going to use begin now in the begin option okay curly bracket begin and then type the word document okay so this is the document once you enter begin documents automatically it will uh, prompt you with the automatically it will give you the option end document if there's a begin uh, argument there must also be an uh, end argument down so in between this between and end this is where you can write the your uh, first for example my first document okay and then compile or build it should be quick build you have to set in the quick build and then click the compilation could not start the command uh, interaction cause my pdf latex okay let's try file not found file not found Uh, let's try to configure the quick build and then okay document all points uh, my first document article PDF takes time to build yeah this one so this is the output my first document this is just an example so if I'm going to make it large or fit page I don't know. make it 150 so this is the PDF output you can adjust the size so this is where you you will see the output of the document right so this portion is what we call the environment 
context environment in this this is where you where the content is being um, typed and in between document here if the necessary package is not installed it will there is a message message will pop up and then it will ask you to install before you can use a particular command here all right so i think in this video the the setup the basic setup is enough on my next video i'm going to use the detail the, the different commands that we're going to use in order for us to create uh, a document uh, especially in mathematics i'm going to make an example on how we can make a test paper using a combination of text with uh, mathematical notation or equations on it so that's enough for this video the installation and the basic structure of the uh, latex so i hope you will uh, you get some information on this video and uh, i hope to see you in my next video there is a video series on this uh, latex so thank you so much so if you're not yet to subscribe in my youtube channel jobs online tv please subscribe and you will be updated to my future uh, videos so thank you so much once again.